What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a solo money glitch because that is what I've been, you know, getting requests for the most recently. Uh, I haven't posted a money glitch in a little while, but uh, yeah, pretty much everybody's saying they need solo money. So this is the way to do it. All right. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos for this glitch, you need to go ahead and prepare because you need to put a BMX bike in your facility. And then I even show you how to glitch out your garages and then you can order unlimited BMX bikes in car slots uh, after that, okay? Now, the video link will be down in the description, so go check that out. I have the solo method on PlayStation how to do that and Xbox and PlayStation can both do the two player method. So if you're having trouble with the solo way, you can uh, PS4 and Xbox can go ahead and you can do the, uh, the two player method but once you get that set up once you spend five minutes of your time doing that video and getting stuff set up then you're good to go everything else is solo money from there all right so shout out to the founders uh nhj and mod beep links are down in the description like i said you're gonna need bmx bikes in car slots which are you want them to be in your facility before uh you go ahead and do this glitch and i'm gonna show you how to get them in your facility and everything uh it's one bmx bike per dupe and uh, you need a retro custom, obviously, with no custom plates and an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Okay, so right now in the video, this is my garage that is partly glitched out. And I have an RH8 in my first slot right here. Okay, so if you watched my videos on how to get the BMX bikes and how to actually glitch them out with the garages, you'll know what I'm doing right here. But this is preparation to get more BMX bikes so that I can continue to do the glitch. So I'm going to go ahead and order a BMX bike and I'm going to select the Sonora Way garage and the reason for that is because when i select that you'll actually see it'll actually order it into the top slot of the garages all right so you see i get that glitched out screen i'm going to go ahead and accept that as well and then i'm going to accept the replace and as you can see when i back out of this menu it's actually going to pretty much replace over the first slot in this garage so you see that it's empty now if i go over to the blue circle it's going to say that there's a bmx bike see it, we just got to wait for it to be delivered but i'm going to go ahead and, to, and do uh, two dupes in this video so i'm going to order up another bmx so that's all you have to do put an rh8 in that first slot and then you can go ahead and you can order up more uh, bmx bikes so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna order up this bmx right here and then i'm gonna click on sonora way which is the garage that i glitched out previously and then i'm gonna get that screen accept it keep doing what you're doing and there you go so i'm gonna have two bmx bikes in here momentarily now you need they're in car slots which is good that's a lot of the work but now we just need to move them over to the facility all right you need the bmx bikes in car slots in the facility uh if you don't know how to do that this is how we're going to be doing i'm going to go ahead and just order up a vehicle from my facility uh a few rh8s in there is preferable because you're going to need rh8s in this garage anyway if you're going to keep duping more and more but uh yeah i'm going to go ahead and drive this rh8 that was from my facility i'm going to drive it into this garage and it will and i'm going to choose to transfer the bmx bike so as you can see right there, that's what I'm doing. There we go. So I just transferred a BMX bike over to the facility, even though it's not delivered yet. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to, I had to skip forward. I just waited the five minutes to order up another car. Uh, you can do the, uh, the little teleport tricks with the job circles if you really want to, to go back and forth. Uh, if you don't want to wait for a mechanic, that probably will be a nice quick way to do it. But this is the other RH8 from the facility. I'm going to drive it in here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put that second BMX bike over there inside of my facility with this transfer okay so as you can see that was weird right my guy walked or the girl she walked back towards the garage when i was on this menu that's really weird i usually don't have that happen but uh yeah so now that these bmx bikes are over at the facility i'm going to show you how to actually do this if you're alone okay if you want to do a little teleport trick but you don't end up in the same session okay but this is just a little teleport trick uh if you want if you're by yourself okay if you're with a friend you guys won't be in the same session if you do this all right so just select a race from somewhere and you know from the job circles and go ahead and launch it up confirm the settings and we are actually going to fully launch into the job okay well not fully it's like right before that but you're going to see launching session right here in the bottom right when we get to the vehicle selection menu right here that's when you want to go ahead and back out and if you back out right there you're actually going to spawn at that job circle but like i said you can't do this during a glitch because you go into a completely new session right now i'm not in the same session i was in before i'm in a brand new invite only okay oh and I guess that's something to add too. This glitch should be done in an invite only session. Now, um, a CEO buzzard is definitely highly recommended because you're going to be flying from the bunker to the facility quite a bit. Uh, that's the only downside to this glitch is that you got to fly back and forth, but not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get an LG Retro Custom. Like I said, you do not need custom plates for this. I have one on here just to show you guys when the new plate comes on. 
and uh, you want to go ahead and put your retro custom that you're going to be duping, just drive it into your bunker, and I recommend just going ahead and throwing that in your MOC, honestly. Uh, it's The other ones are going to end up in your MOC anyways. You can probably dupe it if it didn't come from there previously, but i just like to go ahead and do this just in case, all right? So I'm going to drive it out of the MOC now, and now that it's in this parking spot right here in the bunker, I'm just going to go ahead and hop out of it on foot and leave on foot, okay? Now, when you go outside, you want to go, go ahead and head over to your bunker. And I'm going to use my CEO buzzard because you don't want to call out any personal vehicles. If you call out any sort of personal vehicle, then the LG Retro Custom that you have in your bunker is going to despawn. Remember, the car might be in an interior parking spot, but it's not like one of those, like it's not permanent. You know, it's just a temporary parking spot right there. So fly over to your facility with your buzzard. Since we already put those BMX bikes in there, then you should be just sitting in car slots. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run and make my way up over to uh, one of the BMX bikes. Now, once you get over to your BMX bikes, make sure you, once you get on it, I should say, you do not want to press left or right trigger or, or, or L1 and R1 or L2 and R2, uh, whatever, you know, those like the regular gas and reverse buttons. You don't want to press that. If you do press that, you're going to be kicked out of the facility. So you want to just tap X on PlayStation or X or sorry, A on Xbox. Okay, that's what you want to do. So just tap that and that's how I'm actually driving in the uh, facility. You want to go ahead and make your way over to the uh, your room. All right. So uh, you do need the accommodation for this, but that's pretty cheap. Now, you see how I have the right D-pad option. If you don't have the right D-pad option, go ahead and just hop off the bike and hop back on and you should have it. Now you want to press right D-pad and right trigger or R2 at the same time. Now, if done correctly, you should just spawn outside without a bike. Uh, I usually have that really weird thing that happens to me where I walk back into the facility all glitched out. But it didn't happen this first time for some reason, and it did not happen. If you see my previous videos, you know it always does. But yeah, I'm going to just simply fly back over to my bunker with my CEO buzzard. Okay, still not calling out any personal vehicles or anything like that. Okay, so now that we're going to be spawning in the bunker, I'm actually going to show you the plates change. Okay, now this has one, been one of the downsides with this BMX glitch is that you don't always get... Um, well, you always get a fresh plate, but some of the cars, and you know it's going to happen, they revert back to having no upgrades. But you're going to see right here. See the glitch in plate? Once I hop in, all of a sudden, look at that. The plate changed. XEA567. That's a brand new plate. I can go ahead and drive this into my MOC. Just press right D-pad and accept the transfer alert, and that will be saved in the MOC just like that. All right? And then we can use this one to dupe again. But as you can see with this BMX glitch, if you get a fresh plate right away, that car is good. The upgrades will stick when you leave sessions. If you see a blank plate transfer on there, go ahead and still save it, but just know you're going to lose those upgrades when you change sessions and the car is going to be worth half as much as it was originally, which is okay. It's still worth half a mil, but I just wanted to let you guys know. But lately I've been getting really lucky and I've actually been getting a fresh plate every single time and I can keep all my dupes upgrades. But uh, yeah, this is just a rinse and repeat right here. So right after saving that vehicle inside the MOC, you can just simply drive it right back out, leave it in that parking spot inside the bunker, and you can go ahead and get, you know, get on with it and rinse and repeat again. So as you can see, I got my buzzard, flew back over to my facility, and now I'm running up to get the second BMX bike that I put in there uh, in the beginning of the video. Like I said, remember, do not press gas or reverse on here. You just want to simply tap X or A, and that will cause you to go ahead and uh, you know ride the bike. If you tap it, that's how you go fast. If you just hold it, you do like a nice like leisurely ride. If you let go, obviously, then he'll just be kind of you know chilling on there on the uh, on the pedals. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make my way over to my room. Remember, you need the room because you need that right D-pad option at the bed. So just park the bike right at the bed, kind of facing it. There you go, just like that, and press right D-pad and right trigger or RT at the same time. Okay, RT or, or R2, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when you press those at the same time, this is the other thing that can happen. This is what usually happens to me. You see that? I'm outside, the bike despawns, and then I walk back into the bunker somehow or into the facility somehow. And I've actually had guns in the facility like this as well. So it's pretty interesting. But anyways, it will kick you out eventually if that does happen to you. And uh, yeah, I end up spawning at another bunker. So I don't even think that was a facility. I think it was a bunker. Actually, I'm not even sure. But yeah, so I spawned over here. I'm just going to do the same thing. Call out my CEO buzzard. Don't call out any personal vehicles and just take it back over to the bunker and your car should still be there. All right. And I'm going to show you the plate here. If you don't remember already, what did the plate say? It said uh, it was XEA, I believe. Yeah, XEA 567. All right. 26 in the beginning, if you really want to remember all that. All right, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in here and try to show you guys the plate changing. Camera angle is a little weird, but you see the original plate. 
you'll see the new one come on here in a second. Okay, so there we go. Remember XEA567. I'm going to hop in the vehicle and the plate should change. There we go. All right, 04 USD 936. All right, that's the brand new plate. So as you can see on both my dupes, I got brand new plates, not those weird blank plates, all right, that are going to revert all the upgrades. I got fresh plates. I'm going to go ahead and save it in the MOC, and that's how you do this glitch, guys. It's very, very well worth it. Solo money, super, super simple and quick to do. Uh, you just got to set up, you know, with those original videos in the beginning. But once you do that, guys, that's it. Very, very easy money glitch to do. So take advantage of this one while we still have it. That's going to be it for me, though. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a great day.